हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट योर पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट इनटू बेस 64 कोड हियर यूजिंग नोट चेयर्स एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग अ लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एज पीडीएफ टू बेस 64 सो आई हैव रिटन अ कंप्लीट ब्लॉग पोस्ट ऑन माय कोडिंग शिक्षा वेबसाइट सो आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गो टू इट सो इफ यू जस्ट सर्च फॉर दिस डिपेंडेंसी ऑन गूगल this dependency will come in here you can see that npmjs.com this is node package manager and we will be using this dependency here you can see that it has got 4614 weekly downloads and we just need to execute this command here so now to make this project i will open my projects directory and i will open cmd and then i just need to create a new directory so make directory uh, pdf to base64 and then we will go to into go into this directory base64 here cd into pdf2 base64 and then first of all what we need to do is that we need to initialize the node.js project by executing npm init dash y so this will create the package.json file and then we need to install this dependency which is pdf2 base64 so just write npm i pdf to base64 the dependency is installed now we just need to open this inside visual studio code text editor so it will open this here you can see inside this editor you can use any text editor of your choice now you just need to create a index.js file inside this so first of all what in what we need to do is that they have shown you this example here first of all you just need to import this dependency so here we will need to use this function here you can see this uses this function pdf2 base64 like this so here you need to provide the path of your pdf document so after this this contains a then callback function it uses promises so we need to configure this promise so when the conversion is successful this returns a promise so inside this response object we got this base64 code we can just console log it so basically we can say console log response if any sort of error take place we can catch that error and we can display this error as well like this that is console log error and now we can dis uh, download a pdf file from the internet and then we can provide as a input here so we can just say download sample pdf file if you write on google you will see this pdf file document here you just need to download this it contains two pages so simply download this file here inside this directory so i have successfully downloaded it so i will just move this file so where is my file so you can see this is the file here i will just cut this file from here and uh, here i will just paste it to the directory that we created here desktop projects and then we have this directory pdf2 base64 so simply we can paste this so you will see this is my pdf file so here we just need to convert this into base64 code so we can rename this file here which is sample so now we can provide this path of the pdf file here so simply we can write sample.pdf so now we can run this application so we can say node index.js so you will see it will print out this base64 code here you can see this is a bunch of garbage code you can see this is all the base64 code of this pdf file so in, in this easy way you can get any sort of base64 code of any pdf file and the nice thing about this library you can even provide a unique url as well let's suppose i provide this url you need not have to download it locally you can also provide a url as well instead of a path so this is a url here now I, if i run this applications once again you will see this will still run here because we are providing a absolute path which is available on the internet so either you can download a pdf file and then provide the local path or you can provide a remote url on which the pdf file is hosted so simply provide the url of the pdf file and then it will convert it to a base64 code using this library
PDF to base 64. And if you want a full step by step detailed tutorial on this subject, you can refer my blog here, which I written here on my website. The link will be there inside video description. All the source code is also given alongside with complete examples. And also you can read more blogs on this website and also a website that I created freemediatools.com. This is a tool based website. So a total of 140 tools are there. So related to audio image and video so please share this website with friends and i will be seeing you in the next uh, tutorial